Hello my friends, this is Just Sky Tech. In this video, I will introduce this heavy duty two-stage cascade high pressure micro brushless DC water pump of Shaska series. This one placed on the table. It is our Shaska DC55 JE24 320A model. First, let's read the parameters that is already printed on the sticker. This pump works at 24 watts DC, yeah, with rated power consumption about 160 watts. The max sturdy lift can be horizontally 32 meters. In feet, it's about 105 feet, so it is quite high pressure value. In the meantime, the max horizontal flow rate can also reach 2,000 liters per hour. So in US gallons, it's about 528 US gallons per hour. Okay, it is a quite fantastic pressure value with considerably nice flow rate to this pressure pump. Okay, let's take a look at the pump head. Inlet, outlet. Both uh, half inch threaded ports with external diameter about 2 cm, a very normal standard for the threaded pipe connection. Inlet, outlet, two stage, yeah. As to the pump's working mechanism, we can simply see that there are two imp impellers inside. So the high speed rotation of impellers to push or throw the inflow out of the outlet to achieve the performance of pumping or pressurization in the system. Okay, the pump is in brushless DC design, so it works with the no noise and supporting long time continuous running. Of course, avoid dry run without always insufficient water inflow. Otherwise, it could easily damage the pump if dry run long time. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the pump tail side. Two core, two pump body. This this cable connection. Okay. Then we will see two cables will be integrated inside one cable. So within this cable there will be two five uh, will be six will be six sub cables within. And this is a waterproof specialized waterproof connector. It can be removed off. Yeah. We just uh, simply show the remove off and see what connectors are within. So it is quite tough. As we see, there are six, six pins inside. Two pins will be assigned to stage one. The other three pins will be assigned to stage two. Okay. Waterproof. Then let's check this rectangle shaped metal box. Actually, it is the brain part of the whole pumping system because the main control and protect circuits are already integrated within this control box part. It is the brain part, it is the body part. So both parts together are composing the whole pump. Okay, then we go to the input of the control box part. There will be two branches as we see. Yeah, this is the power cord. This power cord is a specially customized four pin power cord to handle the high power powering voltage. 24 watts, right? And 160 watts power consumption. So the power consumption is considerably good or high. So there are four pins, two pins are positive, the other two pins will be negative. If we cut it off, there will be two sub cables, two polarities, one will be positive, 24 volts DC, the other will be negative. In the meantime, as we see, this is the potential meter lobe, where the users can flexibly adjust the power, the flow, the lift of this pump when it works through rotating the potential meter lobe. Okay, so for some special demand, if our users need the PWM or need the 0 to 5 analog signal, 
to adjust to control the flow of the pump. It can also be customized based on MOQ and certain lead time. Of course, in default, it is always the potential meter law that is offered to our customers. So, as we see, in total, this pump is like this. Pump body, control box part, power cord, and the potential meter law. Now, the connector we have removed off. Okay, it's a pump. High pressure, high powerful. DC 55JE24 330A model of Shaska series.